Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about AutoSAR service layer. Before start to discuss about AutoSAR service layer, first we can understand layers in AutoSAR. Basically, AutoSAR has three layers. One is application layer, runtime environment and basic software. The basic software can be divided as three more layers. Service layer, ECU abstraction layer and microcontroller abstraction layer. Service layer. Service layer is the highest layer of basic software. The service layer offers operating system services, vehicle network communication and system services, memory service, crypto service, onboard communication services and communication services. And the same service layer is responsible for ECU state management as well. First, we can start to discuss about system services. The system services are a group of modules and functions which can be used by modules of all layers. Some example is real-time operating system, DEM, DET and ECUM. And system services additionally offer some services. For an example, we can consider in a way microcontroller dependent in the case of operating system. And it may support some special microcontroller capabilities like time services. And we can say it's like a microcontroller independent as well because in the basic software, it's a top layer. And one more thing is the system services offering of ECU state management as well, meaning ECUM. ECUM is responsible for activating all the modules in the initialization phase. And in the same system services, we have additional fun functionalities for DEM, Diagnostic Error Manager. This is responsible for processing and storing of all diagnostic events. Diagnostic events means errors and it will handle and associated with freeze frame data also. So whenever the application module wants to report a error, then this will be processed and stored inside the DEM. At the same time, base software module also can report the events or errors. TLT. Diagnostic log and trace. It supports logging and tracing of applications. The major responsibility of DLT is collects user defined log messages and converts them into a standardized format. Dead. Development error tracer. This can be used only for a development purpose. So all detected development errors in the basic software are reported to development error tracer. The usage of dead is we can identify the errors in the development phase itself. So these all are the parts of services in system services. Now we can discuss about memory services. Memory services means it handles the NVRAM manager, meaning NVM, non-volatile memory. This can be called as a persistent memory as well. For an example, application software component can create a NVM block and this will get stored and processed in the memory services. Basically, the non-volatile data to the application in a uniform way. It will provide in a uniform way. And the same time, the service can be offered in memory services. Is it will save the data, loading and checksum protection and verification and reliable storage. Everything will be part of memory services. So it will completely handle the persistent memory storage and processing and accessing. Now we can discuss about important in the service layer. One of the important service is a communication services. The communication services are a group of modules for vehicle network communication, meaning CAN, LIN, FlexRay and Ethernet. They interface with the communication drivers via communication hardware abstraction. So whenever we want to perform communication relevant, you want to transfer the data or you want to capture the data from the CAN bus, all these things will be processed part of communication services. So the CAN communication stack supports classical CAN communication, meaning CAN 2.0. So CAN FD communication, for an example, if you want to transfer more than 8 fights, then we need a CAN FD. If CAN FD communication will be supported, if hardware is ready to support. The same way for CAN Excel communication as well. So we have a plan to take a separate video for to more to discuss about communication stack. But in this video, we are discussing about the basics of whatever the possibilities are in the communication stack. An important one here is DCM. 
diagnostic communication manager that is responsible for whenever the request comes from diagnostic request comes from the tester this will be processed in the diagnostic communication manager this is one of the important services because whenever there is a problem in the vehicle the carriage guy can understand all these problems with the help of diagnostic communication manager generally this is called as a diagnostic service we can first little bit discuss about what is com what is pdu router what is can stat manager and can network manager and can transport protocol so generally autos or com is a module between the rt and pdu router it is responsible for providing signal level access to the application layer and pdu level access to the lower layer independent of the protocol this is a part of autos or com and pdu router the PDU router is a module responsible for routing the PDU to the respective bus specific interface modules. CAN state manager. This module shall implement the control flow for the respective bus, meaning generally this is called as a CAN SM. And it's a member of the communication service layer. It interacts with the communication hardware abstraction layer and system service layer. That is the purpose of CAN SM. CAN network manager. The Autos or CAN network management is a hardware independent protocol tools that can only be used on CAN network. The main purpose is to coordinate the transition between normal operation and bus sleep mode of the network. That is the purpose of CAN NM. CAN transport protocol. The basic service offered by the CAN TP module are segmentation of messages which have a payload of more than 8 bytes, meaning whenever the communication or the communication bus or someone wants to transfer more than 8 bytes of data then we need a support from the CAN TP. This is the basic about the communication services. Next, crypto services. The crypto service consists of three modules we can say. You can see in this slide we have a three key manager, crypto service manager and intrusion detection system manager. So this crypto service is responsible for to do all the cryptographic related activities. For an example, the crypto service manager is completely responsible for the management of crypto cryptographic jobs. The key manager interacts with the key provisioning master either in crypto driver or in nvm and it will manage and storage and verification of the certificate chains so if you want to understand or if you want to work in a cipher security then you should understand about the crypto services the intrusion detection system manager is responsible for handling security related events which will be reported by the bsw module or software component here Software component can be a application software component or any other software component. In the upcoming video, we will discuss more about the type of software components. Now, offboard communication services. We can say it's a special service and this will be mainly used in the vehicle to X communication via an ad hoc wireless network. In the part of when we discussed about the drivers, that time we discussed about the Ethernet stack that will be part of offboard communication services. This will provide a uniform interface to the wireless Ethernet network. It will hide the protocol and message properties from the application. It's mainly used in the V2X management or V2X communication. For an example, vehicle to communication and this will take care of the wireless communication related activities. So if you will see in this picture, here we have a wireless communication driver that will make the so offboard communication services will make a communication to the wireless communication drivers. So V2X management manages cross layer functionality meaning dynamic congestion control and security position and time. So in this video, we discussed about the basically about what is the roles and responsibility of service layer. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please share it to your friends. If you want to stay with us for more AutoSAR technical video, please subscribe our channel. Here we have created as a complete AutoSAR tutorials to understand more to who all are working in automotive industry at the same time who wants to join in automotive industry thank you so much have a nice day